You certainly had the most interesting part of the entire match there, I would think. And um, <laughs> there's Gareth Southgate, who may, w may well be taking one of these penalties. This is what you don't want in Euro 2000, Kevin, do you? Well, I mean, just looking at Gareth there as well, he's played in five semi-finals and never got to a final as well. So, you know, he deserves a break, and for him, he's such a nice guy. Obviously, in the England setup, he's, a, he's inspirational at times. So, for him personally, I hope it goes his way today. But uh, it all happened in about five minutes there, didn't sure it? We, did. got, we got a bit of a few thrills and spills, but uh, it's not been a classic. I don't think we'll be buying the video. Let's just have a look <laughs> at. Well, we might buy it for these chances because they were very good in, the, in that uh, in that spell here. Yeah, Dean Holdsworth. It's a great strike. Hits the post. I'm actually very surprised that Dean Holdsworth had the energy to run and take that. He's been shattered. He looked a bit shattered, hadn't he? 45 but, minutes. And yeah. this one. Well, this is good. Jonsson, who's probably been their star. I thought he was going to do a corner. In, but he did the right thing. That's less oh, than 12 that. yards out, and weariness. He should be hitting the target, though. That it looks easy. Yeah, and then, this and then is a good that. save onto the post as well. I mean, it, it's been a game where, to be honest with you, I, I, I think Bolton have come out with a lot of credit because they're not a Premiership side. Um, they can't take Villa on at their own game and go attacking them. But I think Sam's got his tactics right, and now it's it, it, it's a, it's a roulette. Now it's it's a game of chance. Cameras are closing in there on Southgate because of past history, of course. <laughs> It'll be very interesting to see if he takes one. Are you in favour of the penalty system, Barry? Well, after seeing uh, today's game, I certainly am because I wouldn't like to sit through another one of these. But it is it is really difficult. But I, yes, I think it should be over on the day semi-final like this, I think it should be over and done with the fixtures that the players have got now and possibly that's one of the reasons why the players are, are weary. I am a little bit disappointed in Villa from the point of view that they just haven't shown enough to crack Bolton, who are resolute you know, they stuck together, good solid team but Aston Villa are disappointed haven't shown the creativity just to, just to break them open and I think John Gregory will be Kevin, as a manager, do you expect volunteers in this sort of situation? Definitely. I mean, you want people to come up and say, I'll take one, boss. Sometimes you find there aren't too many of them, and you have to start looking at <laughs> people. I mean, you'll have lads that feeling that, I mean, you've seen already two players gone off through cramp for, for Bolton. This is an energy sapping pitch. We all know that. I've been played on it. And so there'll be players who feel a little bit fitter. I think probably Hendry's been fetched on to take one. But there's going to be a hero somewhere along the line. Uh, maybe it'll be a goalkeeper probably. And there's going to be a villain. And, and that's the thing I don't like about this. Um, it, it, it stays with players, doesn't it? The yeah, fans remember yeah, it forevermore. Yeah, Gareth Southgate is a prime yeah. example. But yeah. uh, it, it'd probably go his way this time, you know, because in football, if you keep going long enough, you usually get your chance. And he's certainly paid his dues as Gareth Southgate. What you can't do at this sort of stage is say, I expect one or the other team to, 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 well, it's to win, lottery, isn't it? it Total is lottery. lottery. And that's where you've got to really pad ball on the back. They made the most of what they got. Kevin mm -hmm. said that. And Sam's got a nice solid team here. They've got through to this point, but it could go either way. Didn't Southgate say he might never take another penalty? I mean... I think he said he would. I think he Did said he? he would. The one advantage here is that it looks like, from where James is going, that they're going to take the penalties down the Bolton end. You know, and, and if that's the case, that's a slight advantage, you know, I mean, to, to Bolton, they've got their fans behind them, they can make a, the right noises when the Bolton players come up, but uh, it looks that way, the way they're, they're facing up. Would you take a penalty? Do you think the, apparently Southgate's not on the penalty this week, then? No. Not on. Well, I would be on that not on list as well, because I, I wouldn't have the gumption to take a penalty. Yeah. It's one yeah. of the things you've got it's to when you have you done. It's when you've only got three players on the on list that you've got a problem. <laughs> 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 you know, you're looking round. And some people will come up and show a lot of courage and say, I'll take one. But deep inside, they're thinking, hold on, I don't, I don't really want to. Okay. They're going to put a wall up in front of the penalty. There's the psychological yeah. stuff going there. How do you think the goalkeepers feel? I always think that they, they kind of enjoy it in yeah, a way. It's a no-lose situation for them. They yeah. could be heroes, come sell it. They're both big as well. I mean, the goals will look pretty small each side of these guys because they're both about best part of six foot three, six foot four. Actually, Jessica Linen's played well, hasn't he, for Bolton? He brought two exceptional saves in that uh, last period there. I think both goalkeepers have done well. I mean, all right, yeah. James got beat by the free kick. They hit the post, but you get the feeling had it not hit the post, he would have got it. Here we go then. It's penalties to play in the last ever Wembley FA Cup final. Back to you, Clive. Thank you, Des. The uh, Bolton goalkeeper, UC Yaskalina, did save a penalty in a Worthington Cup win over Sheffield Wednesday from Gilles de Bilder, very late on in the game, I recall. Steve Stone will be his first opponent. Just to remind you, it's five penalties each, and if that doesn't decide it, it's sudden death. Stone! Aston Villa lead by one in the shootout. 
that December night when uh, Southgate missed his penalty at Upton Park, they effectively went out of the Worthington Cup to West Ham on penalties, but of course were reprieved by the Omoyimni oversight. Dean Holdsworth will reply for Bolton Wanderers against David James, who has saved three penalties this season, notably from Paolo Di Canio in the replay of that quarter-final at Upton Park. Holdsworth sends James the wrong way. 1-1 one, one in the shootout. Well, there are goals there, we know that now. <laughs> That's a good run now. I weren't quite now, too sure on his movement. He's gambled early, the keeper. Here's that moment we were talking about, Ron, because Lee Hendry, who came on as a substitute in the last minute of the game, who has missed a penalty for Villa this season, and who didn't kick the ball in the match, will now have his first kick of the afternoon. Certainly nerve-wracking. I mean, this is, a, this is a kid loaded with talent. This is a kid that when he gets his gets his run of games together will be, I'm sure, part of the, whoever's managing England. Hendry, all through the hands of Jaskalina. Big relief for him. <laughs> keeper did get a hand to it. Well, he's been unlucky with both penalties, the keeper. He's waited, he stood his ground and then elected to go. And uh, very unlucky. A good penalty. Always difficult when they're rising in the corner. Scotland's Alan Johnston, who's done as well as anybody here this afternoon for Bolton. Saved by David James! Misery for Johnston, delight for James, advantage Aston Villa. That's yeah, close. He didn't go quite as early as he did on the first one. And that's, uh, you know, when his frame's covering, he's, he's a big, massive lad. No, we're talking to kids, there's another one. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? 22-year-old Lee Hendry is now followed by 19-year-old Gareth Barry. Barry scored in that shootout at Upton Park in December. Puff of the cheeks, stroke of the left foot. And Aston Villa have a 3-1 advantage, thanks to Gareth Barry's coolness. Best penalty of the lot, that. Now, there's a little bit of war in nerves, isn't it? Keeper's gone the same way for two of them. I wonder what the strikers think thinking at this particular moment. It's Michael Johansson, the day. And James has saved it again! It's match point, Aston Villa! touching distance and who was it that said that Dion Dublin would score the winning goal of the afternoon? Ron Atkinson was it? And scored it yet. <laughs> well Dion Dublin has the chance thanks to David James's second save. You also get the feeling didn't you when that shot hit the bar, uh, sorry when Holdsworth's shot went over the bar that whether that was going to be Villa's moment and he wondered whether he would ever play again, let alone play again this season. Now, Dion Dublin has a chance to play in an FA Cup final. If he scores, Villa are there. Is this fate? Yes, it is. Dion Dublin books Aston Villa's return ticket to Wembley. It's an extraordinary tale. December broke a bone in his neck, whose career was threatened, and who has now thumped Aston Villa into their first cup final for 43 years. 43 years in which they've won the league, won the League Cup, won the European Cup. The longer you wait, the more you enjoy it. And Aston Villa will enjoy this moment because the last original Wembley Cup final will be an all-premiership occasion. A season of shocks and slips and surprises will end with a summit meeting worthy of the occasion. Here is the draw for the FA Cup final. Chelsea or Newcastle United will play Aston Villa. Dion Dublin's penalty gave them a 4-1 victory in the shootout. The numbers are immaterial. When their cup run in December, Aston Villa was stumbling from one defeat to the next. 
Deadly Doug was getting an itchy trigger finger. But as the year turned, so did the Villa Tide and the Villa Fortunes. And David James, the hero, is now ready to talk to us. David, fantastic save at the end there. It all boiled down to penalty kicks. Um, yeah, it wasn't the best game in the world. And uh, I think they had a great chance towards the end of extra time there, where I think Dino could have wrapped it up for themselves. But, you know, unfortunately he has to go to penalty. It would have been nice to come back and have a replay here. But, you know, I'm obviously happy that we've won. Well, tell us about the second save. That was the real crucial one. Uh, what were you thinking about as, as, as he lined up? Save it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I look, looked at his run out. I thought I knew I was going to go, and obviously I've guessed the right way. And uh, unfortunately for him, I saved it. But fortunately for us, unfortunately for Villa, that, uh, you know, we're going to Wembley for the final this time. Yeah, he certainly have with Aston Villa. Well done, David. Thanks very much, yes. The Worthington Cup was bitter for them. The FA Cup is now brimful of hopes and dreams for Aston Villa. They could become the first team to win the Cup in three different centuries. Sam Allardyce will hope to bring Bolton back here for the playoff finals in May. Aston Villa are definitely coming back for the FA Cup final. We will be back with Des Lynham after this break. Well, it's taken very nearly three hours, but Aston Villa are in the FA Cup final on May the 20th, and here's the man who clinched it eventually, Dion Dublin. Dion, you had another chance if you'd have missed there, Aston Villa, but how nerve-wracking was that last penalty? Very, very nerve-wracking, but I think uh, the, job, the job had been done by David James, to be honest, you know, he's a real hero, saved two penalties at Wembley semi-final. I'm looking, you asked me a goalkeeper, I thought he was brilliant. The ter um, probably was, you know, if you're neutral, but uh, it's a superb game to us, you know, we won it, we're in the final, that's what we came here to do. And, and from your point of view, a fantastic story, because we were worried for your life in December, and now you're back quickly, and you come on, you hit the post as well near the end. Yeah, I know, but it's, you know, it's one of those things, uh, like you say, it wasn't the best of games, uh, it's a horrible way to go out of a semi-final, it's a horrible way to go out of any game, but uh, it was nice. Well, it's taken a long, Wembley, a long, uh, been a long while to get to Wembley, you're there, well done, Dion. Thank you very much, Gary, cheers, thank you. Cheers certainly there. It, it was a poor game, but the last 15 minutes were thrilling, and then the penalty. I just love the penalties. I mean, it's just, you know, I'll it's got to be done that way. It's got to be done that way. Right there. So it was extra time, and Villa went through. Yeah, and I said Bolton. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm, not, I'm not the best tipster in the world, as no, people have told a, me many, that, many that's times right. before. You're, you're a pretty good analyst, though, and I, 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 felt, I feel for Bolton, because Holdsworth had the had those uh, super chances. Yeah, he, you know, he, he'll be disappointed with especially the one that was laid back from Gundensen, uh, sorry his name. But um, he went up and took a penalty. You know, he showed all the right things, put his penalty away. That was away. courageous to take the first penalty, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, unfortunately, the other lads then started to, to yeah. go away wire a bit. But, uh, you know, pro possibly for the point of football, not being unkind to Bolton, probably the Villa final against uh, Newcastle or Chelsea yeah. might, might, might be a better game, might be. On this performance, you wouldn't fancy Aston Villa to win the final against either Newcastle well, or Chelsea. Wouldn't, it wouldn't, Des. I think when we looked at the semi-final draw, well, I felt that the winner would come from Chelsea or Newcastle. But uh, if you look at John Gregory, you think, you know, Dion Dublin, you know, he had a, a life-threatening injury, possibly. John Gregory, it was only in November time when his managerial career at Aston Villa could have been over. Third round against Darlington, if they'd have lost that game, he wouldn't have been here. This afternoon, he wouldn't be in the final. He turned it round. The players got round him, and, he's, and it's worked. I mean, it's really worked well. Sure. I think also that you know Villa won't play that badly again. You know, yeah. they'll come back again. Did they I mean, play with a bit too much caution. Do you think? I just think that the players they needed to get on the ball and to, who could influence the game in a positive way, Carboni, Merson for sure. Merson was very, very disappointing today, and he'll look at the video and he'll hold his hands up. Carboni did one or two things, like he knocked in Jochen twice, didn't he? But other than that, his contribution wasn't like it's been obviously in the last few weeks. But, uh, you know, if those players can't get on the ball, then suddenly, you know, even sides like Villa with a lot of quality and can look quite ordinary. Thank you very much indeed. So it took about three and a quarter hours in the end. And thank you for staying with us. We've got some excellent football, of course, coming up this uh, coming week. Real Madrid against Manchester United. Highlights with Bob uh, on Tuesday. And then, of course, live Chelsea against Barcelona, 7.30 uh, with us on Wednesday. So we hope there'll be thrilling matches. Today, Villa got through. Dion Dublin did it in the end. Bye from us.